Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Robin here. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading. This is for Wednesday. <laughs> Yikes. Whoops. <laughs> February 16th. Excuse moi. Moment. So we're back and we're in control with the Tattoo Tarot, Ink and Intuition <laughs> Tarot card deck not behaving itself. There's actually no way that was my fault at all. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you're doing great. Thanks for being here. Remember to shoot me a comment and subscribe, you guys. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into your reading for the collective. Just a general vibe capture for the day. And I'm just going to start pulling cards. <laughs> okay. So we do have the Knight of Swords here. Oh, look at this guy. What a grimace. Okay, so Knight of Swords actually just boiling for a fight. Okay, just you could wake up on the wrong side of the bed today and maybe be tempted to take it out on somebody else. You know, you've got a lot of things to say. Uh, maybe you had some bad dreams. I don't know what's going on. You seem to be doing okay yesterday, but today is like, yeah, you're here. You're picking a fight, okay? You're picking a fight, but why? And you're hiding behind something as well, okay? So you're letting something stand in the way. This could be another individual, or this could be an antiquated way of seeing things, but whatever else is going on here, mood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I call him King Sourpuss, but he's only a knight. Not there's a, that there's anything wrong with being a knight. Excuse my camera fumble. Man, okay, so... I'm going to collect myself and see what is going on with this Knight of Swords here for you guys because, yikes. Ugh. Okay, so, okay, hot mess du jour is you guys, all right? So, this is a very, very hectic energy. It looks like everything is kind of contained here with this chariot card, but... There's something inappropriate driving you right now, okay? You can see by the look of the person driving here. It's like, I'm getting words like shadow self, but I'm seeing somebody else's shadow sort of loom over top of you. Like, are you in some sort of a situation where somebody is giving you, I don't know, they're giving you life advice or this could be your boss. This is like... you the last possible straw with this person is about to happen today okay so hold on so this guy is starting to make a little bit more sense to me because this chariot it's like somebody else is in charge of your energy and you've just about had enough of it but it does seem like there is you know some faction of your life that is dependent on the way that you carry yourself so this is where the sword is coming in because it is sort of the false front of your personality keeping this dark brooding you know knight of swords energy to yourself but it's reflecting out in other places and it's actually allowing this person to come in and take the reins to your life because once you kind of lose control of your emotions everything falls along in it and if you were in control of your emotions this mug would not be present okay so you've got to really check your emotional balance here and who are you giving your power away today to uh angel number 333 just came up so i would expect for you to be triggered today and this could be um sort of a long ongoing episode you can see what is going on here with the knight of wands and I like the way that he has protected himself a little bit better, okay? So he's kind of pulled into a more spiritual place. You can see that his third eye is open. He's got a much better disguise going on. And if you don't think that you are one of these people that puts on a fake smile or says fake things because you're so authentic and you spend all day every day just oozing love and charm and sensitivity and creativity I'd really like to call you on that because there's going to be moments there's going to be people that are like super triggering and it looks like this is really starting to get to you so the advice for today is to start doing a better job at managing your emotions or do a better job of putting a costume in place because the more that you drop 
your facade. They call a poker face a poker face for a reason. If you're not good at it, you might wanna polish that up so that you can see the difference between the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is ready to take action in favor of the next steps of their life. And the Knight of Swords is just ready to throw down and then do some sort of a crazy mic drop and just leave utter chaos in the background. But then like the result of this guy winning is this guy winning. And this is somebody else coming in and sort of mopping the floor with your energy that you need to live the rest of your life here. So guys, like sharpen up, okay? So if you're in an uncomfortable situation and you just don't know how to get out of it and you don't know how to fake it, you're going to have to come up with another scenario, okay? Like an emergency phone call or something like that. Anyway, guys, so really just watch your poker face today. All right, take care. Bye.